I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen. We're here today to do a delicious oyster and cornbread dressing. I'm so excited to make this for you guys. And we're gonna start out by melting some butter in our skillet here. We're gonna turn it up just a little bit. We want it to be foaming, but we don't want it to be too rock hot. We're gonna saute the butter around, or excuse me, move the butter around the pan. This looks like it's nice and hot. I have some chopped onions, some chopped celery and garlic. We're gonna add that to the pan. We had about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of butter in the pan just to let it melt. Now you could use olive oil if you prefer, that's totally fine, or you could use a combination of the two. If you ever do use a combination, the oil is there to keep the butter from burning. So we're just gonna saute this up until it gets nice and soft. Would like to add just a touch of salt, not very much. All right, once your vegetables are nice and soft, you want your onions to be a little bit clear, almost translucent. You want to transfer that to a bowl. I would choose a rather large bowl because you're going to be mixing everything together in a few moments. And now back to the same pan, we're going to add our sausage. Some nice Virginia country sausage there. And we're going to break that up. All right, so our sausage is almost ready. We're going to go ahead and add some Virginia chopped apples to that. And we're not looking to really overcook the apples. We've got a nice small dice on them. So we just want to kind of uh, meld them with a little bit of flavor of the sausage. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add the sausage and the apple to our onion, celery, and garlic. And now we're going to add some roasted chestnuts. These are fantastic to use. Um, you can actually find them already roasted and shelled. Makes it a little bit easier. But if you do want to buy them raw in um, your markets and things, you can. What you want to do is look for the flat side of the chestnut and you want to cut an X in it with a knife. Be very careful because it is still sharp. Cut that off, put them on a sheet tray in an oven for about 15, 20 minutes. Where you've cut the X, it will peel back and then they make it rather easy to peel and they're already roasted for you. And then you can take them out of the shells and then chop them up to get them ready for your dressing. So we're gonna add toasted walnuts to our celery, onions, garlic, and sausage and apple. And then we're gonna add those roasted chestnuts. Then we're going to come back and we're going to add some dry sage. I have some dried thyme from my own garden last year where I collected it and let it dry and a little bit of white pepper. And you might have noticed that when I added the salt to the garlic and the onion and the celery, I did not add pepper and that's because I knew there was going to be pepper in this mix. And now we're going to come back and just kind of toss that up a little bit with my hand. And now we're going to add some nice toasted cornbread. Um, I actually made this cornbread yesterday evening. It is better to, for it to be a little bit stale when you want to do these sorts of recipes. So we made it last evening and then we cut it into cubes and then we've toasted it in the oven. So we're going to add our cornbread. And then we want to add another ingredient which I love and that is oysters. Raw oysters already shucked. And we just want to get in there and stir those up. All right, and then the last thing we want to do is actually drizzle a little bit of a Madeira wine. You don't want the dressing soggy or gloppy, gooey as they say. You just want to kind of moisten it up a little bit. Now you could make this up the night before and bake it the next day, which is fine, but I would not add the Madeira until the next day. That way it doesn't get too terribly um, soft when you go to put it in your oven. We're going to toss it into a casserole dish. We're going to top that with a piece of aluminum foil. And we're going to let it bake at about 350 for about 45 minutes. What you want to make sure of is that the oysters are done. Um, this actually took about 30 minutes instead of 45. 
One thing I love to impart with people is that um, recipes really are guidelines. Um, although the recipe said 45 minutes, we let it go for about 30. My personal oven at home, um, I simply have to turn up the oven a little bit. Yours might be the same. You know your oven better than anybody else. So here we have this delicious oyster and cornbread dressing. We're going to plate a little bit of it. Oh, I wish we had smell-o-vision. And there you have it, oyster cornbread dressing. I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen. Join us next time on Heart of the Home. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafb.com slash recipes, as well as on Chef Tammy Brawley's website at greenkitchenrichmond.com.